rising risk appetite uh, that there's uh, further gain uh, to be made. So uh, cable going up to 170, 172 is uh, is a very strong uh, possibility. Can it stay there? No, I doubt that. I guess that uh, the um, development on uh, risk taking is uh, very temporary. When we are going into autumn, you will see a very different environment. Uh, when you look, for example, at the current rise of uh, real yield level, that seems to be out of whack with uh, economic reality. We have a sharp rise in commodity prices, um, and uh, that is not explainable uh, as well by demand functions. So the question is, is there a huge speculative uh, element in the commodity market? And if so, uh, does that uh, mean there's a um, uh, transfer of income from oil or commodity consumers to uh, producers? countries and this is obviously at the moment uh, not in the interest of the Western world where demand conditions are still very weak. We put our emphasis uh, pretty much on the um, bond market but we have as well recognized that um, the US dollar and real bond yield differentials which had been in place uh, and very steady and a very strong correlation for a long period of time that this correlation has been has been breached and it looks to me that there are US dollar sellers out there which are coming from abroad and uh, that has a yield increasing effect. The question is, can the US economy and the Western world live with that? Hans, what about the euro here? I mean, a $1.40 out of guest uh, the other day suggesting we could breach 165 against the dollar at some stage. Are you, <laughs> would you back that view? Well, I do not think that we are going as high as 165, but I uh, have no reason to change uh, our view, suggesting that we are going to top out uh, in the uh, next quarter at around 145, 148. But if you ask me where the euro is going to trade at the end of this year, then I would see it uh, significantly lower when compared to current levels. Right. Uh, Hans Gunther, what is your trade of the day, sir? The trade of the day is uh, to look uh, into a bearish uh, Norway-Sweden trade. Uh, Sweden does benefit uh, from the successful uh, bank stress test over there. We have uh, risk appetite uh, still uh, moving uh, into the uh, bullish direction. And uh, last not least, on the Norwegian side, we have seen yesterday uh, Norway's bank's uh, um, a deputy uh, suggesting that uh, there must be more done on the interest rate front. You know that next week there's an Norges Bank uh, policy meeting and that uh, looks to me could uh, lead to another drastic rate cut in Norway. So that actually implies that Norway, Sweden uh, is, on the, is uh, in retreat Hans and has further to go. Hans Gutter, great to see you. Have a fantastic weekend. Hans Gutter, Radica there from BNP Paribas now. Still to come now.